academic freedom. Article 14, Section 5, Paragraph 2 of the 1987 Constitution, academic freedom shall be enjoyed in all institutions of higher learning. In the case of Garcia versus the Faculty Admission Committee, Loyola School of Theology, there are four essential freedoms of a university. Freedom to determine for itself on academic grounds, who may teach, what may be taught, how it shall be taught, and who may be admitted to study. Academic freedom flows from the freedom of expression. It allows citizens to be educated privately. Previously, the Legal Education Board has mandated the passing of Filsat as a prerequisite for admission into any law school. During the oral arguments, public respondents used police power as their legal basis. However, Justice Leonen questioned the state's interest in interfering with private law schools' decisions about who they want to teach. According to him, there is already a protection for the public, which is the bar exams. Justice Carpio likewise noted that Filsat is an exclusionary test in nature. Under RA 7662, nothing authorized LEB to conduct exclusionary tests where those who fail cannot enter law school. Justice Carpio posits that the right to know and to learn cannot be barred by law. He said, you cannot prevent a person from enrolling the use of his own money for purposes of learning. Last December 3, 2019, the Supreme Court rendered its decision in the case of Pimentel et al. versus LEB and the case of Abayata et al. versus Medialdea and LEB involving the controversial Filsat. Under the dispositive portion, LEB's act of excluding, restricting, and qualifying admissions to law schools is declared unconstitutional for being ultra-virus and violative of the institutional academic freedom on who to admit. Thus, the TRO was made permanent and the admission of those conditionally admitted are left to the discretion of the law schools in the exercise of their academic freedom. So, the Supreme Court has spoken. Filsat was declared unconstitutional for being violative of the law school's academic freedom on who may be admitted to study. So, where does that leave us? Para sa mga papasok pa lang sa law school, good news! Ligtas ka! Para naman sa mga conditionally admitted, mag-inquire kayo sa law school na pinasukan nyo. Tanong nyo kung ano yung policy nila regarding sa jurisprudence na to. Are you automatically deemed as unconditionally admitted? Or do you still have to take the law school's entrance exam? Most probably, babalik ang entrance exam ng mga law schools. So, you better study for it. Para naman sa mga bumagsak sa Filsat, may pag-asa pa kayo. Sabi nga ni Justice Carpio, you have the right to study and learn about the law. Go ahead and inquire away. Huwag nyo nang pigilan yung pangarap nyo mag-aral ng law. So guys, para sa mga gustong mag-aral ng law dyan, panoorin nyo yung playlist na to. Dito nakalagay yung How to Survive in Law School. Para naman sa kukuha ng next bar exam, panoorin nyo naman yung playlist na to. And yung mga naghahanap ng magandang ballpen, panoorin nyo naman yung video na to. So I hope you found this helpful. Huwag kakalimutang mag-LSS, like, share, and subscribe. Takit sa next video. Paalam!